Hey guys, it's Tony with Thinner Geek Designs, and today I'm back with another InDesign tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about how do you make interactive elements in InDesign. Remember, tutorial videos come out Friday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. So we're in InDesign right now, and we have this digital portfolio that, as you can see, has these uh, buttons and it has a menu system up here. So how do you do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. If you understand the basics of how to do a website and stuff, you can kind of figure this out. So let's take a look at this button. Now, if you don't see some of these uh, icons over here, just go to Windows, Interactive, and all of them should be here. So we're gonna go to our buttons and forms. Now, as you can see, we have an event chosen. And if you don't see this selected, just choose button and then choose or choose type and choose button. A lot of these other things you don't need to really worry about because they only work in PDFs. And if you are doing PDF documents, we'll get to that. But you can name your button. We want to do it on click. We want it to go to a destination. And then we want to choose a page in this document. So we've got the button and we've got a normal state. So that's what it's going to look like when you view the document. But we've also got a rollover state. So when you roll over, you know that that's an interactive element. It's real good to have. It's basically Web Design 101 to have a rollover. So as you can see, all these have that. Basically, you just select rollover, and then you change what you want on the thing. So say we have, we actually want this font to change black. We'll go in here, and so we're still in the rollover state. You don't see it over there, but we are. We're changing the font to black. It's now normal and rollover. Pretty simple. Now, how did we get these destinations to work? Well, it's pretty simple. You go to what page you want. So this is our backpack page. We're going to right-click it. Go to interactive and we want to go to new bookmark we'll go to our bookmarks over here and as you can see we have all our bookmarks of our pages and we're just gonna name this one we already have it but it's backpack records over here this allows you to hop through pages real quick if you want to like down here we have a menu button so this will bring us back here If we go over to our button and forms main menu and then we also have one that goes to our contact page in the last page. And these ones are directional buttons. These ones are pretty set up, pretty simple. They just have a uh, go to previous page. So you go to action. We want to go to action. We want to go to destination when we want to go to one of our bookmarks. But we could go to first page, last page, next page, previous page. We could go to URL outside of this document. We could show hide forms, we can create a video to play, we can create sounds to play. Swift slash EPUB only. This means if you're exporting, say, Publish Online, which would be our next InDesign tutorial, or if you're publishing to a Swift file, which not many people use now, these ones will only work there. So if you have an animation, uh, go to page, go to state, these stuff are a little bit more advanced. We'll go into them when we get there. PDF only. This is more if you want to create an interactive PDF form, more than anything. So, I would try this out, test it, see how it works, see if you like it. I could see a lot of uses in this. I use it for digital portfolios, I use it for some clients that need a big document but they want to jump around in it. I use it for this. Um, I would say play with it. Maybe take uh, your portfolio and try it in this. I hope this got you some basics for how to use buttons in InDesign. If I didn't explain anything well or if you need anything explained again, just come down in the comments and I'll help you down there. Remember, tutorial videos come out Friday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already, and I'll see you next one. Bye.